Hello and welcome to Jilly's Nails. Today we are going to take a fun look at this little plate. It's from a Maniology Mani by B Me box that's older, but you can still use this kind of design for an inspiration. It is going to be some tropical nail art with Oont Peel Off Base Coat, Daisy from Zoya, which has a beautiful green shimmer in it. So the first thing we're going to do is, of course, put on that base coat. Um, this does take a couple minutes to let it dry. If you have a nail dryer, you can totally use it and it'll speed that up for you without putting bubbles in it or anything. Um, but this is Zoya's Daisy. Do you see that green shimmer in the first layer? It's so hard to see in the bottle on camera, but in person, well, oh, it's so pretty. The only thing I don't love about this polish, this is with two coats. If you don't use a really good ridge filler or anything like that and you have ridges, it's going to show. So you really have to make sure your nails are smoothed out before this one or maybe use three coats. I'm not a three coat gal. Don't hate anybody who is. It's just not for me. I've been listening to a lot of music and anthem playlists lately. I'll put one down below for you if you need some anthems just to pump you up. But it's making me want to sing everything right now, so sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> so what I thought I'd do with this nail art was just kind of a bright, in-your-face, summer, tropical design. What I can tell you is, between this camo mani that night and this uh, foliage mani the same night, um, I'm a little grumpy. You know, sometimes you just have bad off days when you're stamping and designing and creating, and this was one of them for me, kind of forgetting to do stuff that I do in every video, just crazy. <laughs> I think I've been in my house too long. We're supposed to start going back to the office June 1st, maybe, we'll see. Uh, the number of cases in Arkansas is growing every day and see this was the screw up I think these greens were too close in color so or I stamped the lighter one when I should have stamped the darker one I did not want to wait for this to dry again so it doesn't really take that long but at that point I was like <laughs> and I just wanted to move along because I'd been having a bad evening with the stamping and filming I actually ended up liking it after I made it easier Sometimes keep it simple stupid just makes things a lot better. I think it's cute. I actually went to my dad's house to groom his dogs, and uh, he liked this one. He got a sneak peek, <laughs> and he really liked that one in person, so that made me happy. My other thought was one's dustier, one is brighter. Maybe I can lay them, layer them with each other, and they just, you no, know, those two colors were fine together, but not contrasting enough. And sometimes that's the kind of stuff you don't find out until you play. And the reason I share that stuff is I think learning from mistakes is just as important as doing it perfectly the first time. We all started in... Oh my god, I need to do a Manny makeover <laughs> on the first Manny I ever did and let y'all see that original picture. It was bad. And I was so proud of it. Oh my god, so proud. So bad. So ugly. So proud. <laughs> I hope you liked this mani, and if nothing else, I hope it did inspire you to try your own foliage mani. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time with hopefully a good long video with no errors. But you never know. It is what it is. We'll have to see what happens next time on Jelly's Nails. Thanks for watching.